Everyone's probably the best opportunity to get some fish. There's a boat ramp just here. We'll be doing a bit of stuff out here tomorrow off that jetty and in that um, sort of swimming enclosure there. Oh, sorry. Looks like I'm catching the best of the sunset. <laughs> Always nice sunsets here. All right, welcome back. Um, yeah, so what's going on uh, is basically we've come over to uh, North Stradbroke Island. We're I'm very lucky to sort of get the invite. Basically, uh, Isaac from Noobs Bureau runs a freediving course. He's a qualified uh, freediving instructor. And um, there was a spare spot left over in this course. And he said, would well, I like to come over and uh, take the spot? And I've always wanted to do it because basically... Like I've spearfished my whole life growing up, but it was always, you know, as kids, like in the harbour and mucking around. And then I think um, there was always, uh, it was always around. So I never really thought about what was actually going on, like the whole mechanics of it and things to learn and, and um, things to look out for. So I've always wanted to do a free diving course to learn a little bit more about what I'm actually doing, learn some new tricks and some tricks and, and of course work on my breath hold and learn ways to sort of improve on that. This is the most ideal course for me to do as well because Isaac, he obviously runs the Noob Spiro podcast so he's obviously heavily into spearfishing so, but he's gone and got the qualification to be the free diving instructor but a lot of free diving courses are very free diving based and not necessarily spearfishing based so it's going to be really cool because it's going to have uh, heavily weighted uh, spearfishing components and obviously everything that we're going to be doing is going to be related back to spearfishing in general as well so not only are we going to get the uh, important free diving aspect of it and the safety aspect of it and learning to do better breath hold and all of that but we're also going to do a lot of spearfishing kind of talk and and a lot of uh, lessons in regards to that as well so we'll hit the uh, hit a bit of the uh, theory tonight and then uh, wake up tomorrow morning and then, uh, yeah, get stuck into the water. Anyway, better get back. Go and check out the curlews. The curlews have put a nest right at the bottom of the stairs of the house they've rented. So, <laughs> poor nest placement. Uh, the house is just down the road here. It's pretty ideal. Like, water's just there. Then you can walk straight down to the house. And then, in the morning, we'll go down and do some uh, of the practical side. And I think down near the jetty as well there's a little enclosed area there a little beach i think a bit uh will happen down there as well but yeah oh <laughs> go buddy <laughs> run duck look at this little fella <laughs> hello buddy you all right oh god he's after that duck oh god <laughs> there's the spearfishing house oh geez it's all happening look Kangaroo just came shooting past. I think the dog spooked it as well. Oh, it's all happening. <laughs> What's going to happen next? You? <laughs>
If I had my gun, I'm not even sure if I would have missed. He's right there. Is he still sitting there? Uh, he's kind of moved. I was going to stab him and then I was like, ah. <laughs> I can't believe it. Anyway. It's Rod the Planning Slayer, everyone. He's using my gun though. I was going <laughs> to... Well, that's what happens when you borrow someone's gun, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's respectable tusky, that one, isn't it? Look, that, like, that's a good meal now. Is that more? Yeah, yeah no, I'm putting you away. <laughs> No, he's a massive. Yeah, fluke fish. Beauty. Fluke fish. I saw heaps of these. I think we're going to pull these bones out with some fish squeezes. <laughs> Ooh, so we've got the leather jacket, leather jacket's already been skinned, we've got the two blue spot tusk fish and this is the flute fish here and we'll get these guys into the smoker so they'll be, um, there'll be little waste because we can pick them clean. Yeah, a lot of the time you wouldn't, I've never like sort of been game to try but apparently you can eat them and they're alright, a bit bony but uh, it'll be really interesting and surprisingly, look when you cut it in it looks actually pretty good inside doesn't it? Yeah. And also, uh, they did the gutting before, and the gut of this fish, you sort of think they're pretty passive because they move slowly around the, the reef and you don't think much of them, but this guy had a whole fish, you know, about as big as the front of his mouth there. So he's obviously an active hunter, which you wouldn't expect. I wonder what the skin tastes like on this one. If you, like, press it and grilled it, like, you know. It's fine scales, but they're quite coarse, so maybe we should, I should scale it quickly, mm. but we can do it outside and let the skin on. Yeah. 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 That's right, we'll smoke that brown leg. Alright, so we've got our smoker. Smoker there. Are oh, we gonna do them whole? Yeah, nice. Dying to see that blue fish. Then we got ceviche and salt and pepper crumbed. So we'll take this up. So like there's a lot of fish, like because obviously it's a new newbies spearfishing course, there's uh, a couple of fish that typically you might not aim for but they're all legal fish and i'm dying to try there's one uh or two in the smoker that i'm really dying to try which is the flute fish and the um magpie moong so typically i wouldn't be uh gunning for those fish but hey you know if you really needed them and they taste good then maybe that, maybe i will be from now on we tend to be pretty sport with our choices but sometimes you're pretty hard up and some of the fish are actually pretty tasty so we'll give it a crack and find out Take them up and wash them. So with these wood chips, I like to fill up. I've got a smoker thing here, a uh, smoke box. So that's some, some cherry. cherry wood. Nice. And that will sit on top of our coals. And I use about two thirds of the chimney. Yep. Right in there too? Yep, yep. Uh, I've got to brine all the fish, so we'll go up and do that part in a minute. I'll break a block of these and put them underneath, light them up, and then we'll get all our coals red hot, dump them in the bottom, put that on top. Yep. And then we lay our, our trays of fish on here. Beautiful. So you lift out the smoke in any set time? What, what, what's your... The beauty of this is it's a really, it's called a, a, a fast, hot, dirty smoke. So it's pretty much an hour and from the time you put, out, put your fish in to the time you pull it out. You can actually do it at 40 minute mark, depending on how much heat you've got in there. So we'll keep an eye on it, but yeah. probably 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and we'll pull it out and go. It's done pretty well. I mean, even stalking, like, for power, yeah. 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 Was that a, a <laughs> nice, like, YouTube-worthy, um, I'll tell you what, the yeah, well, this looks, everything you're doing here looks, oh, hang on. I'll let you concentrate. <laughs> you spoke too soon, Rod, and you jinxed me. I'm excited about this smoker. I'm excited about this flute fish. I'm dying to try it. I think it's going to be surprisingly good. Yeah. So what I tend to do is I, I let the, I like the flames to die down a little bit because that, that's actually going to, like, um, sear and burn and dry out the fish. Mm -hmm. Basically, the thinner the fillet, uh, the less temp you want on it, the ones closest to the flame are going to be the hottest. Yep. So I'm just going to let it die down a bit. This frame will be perfect the on going to be amazing. close yeah. to the flame as well. It'll be fine. Just brown sugar with a little bit of salt, and that's pretty much it. Sometimes yeah. I'll put on like a bit of honky outdoors, mm -hmm. um, one of his mixes. They're it's fantastic for this. Oh, he just does different spice rubs, and you can add them to whatever it is you're doing. 
There's a lot of off cuts and stuff in here, and this is perfect yeah. for the smoker. You know, like yeah. if you're cutting up a fish and you're using the prime parts of the fillet for ceviche or something else up there, like then you can use some of your, um, you know, your other off cuts in the smoker, and, and then they still taste really good. Whole fish is good down the bot um, on the bottom deck there. Yep. And then you see out the top here, I'm kind of putting all sorts of stuff. All the little here. bits and pieces. Yeah. Bit of a thick wing that can go on the bottom. Oh, here we go. The, this the, guy's a serious. This is the fluffy. This is the one I'm waiting for. Can this is see? fairly thin too. I'm actually going to top deck him. Yep. Banana skin. We'll yeah. just see. Turn him, turn him over so people can see the other side. Like, because it's a uh, flute fish. Yeah, that's the flute fish. So you got butterflied out. Yeah, I've way. got high hopes for this. So you can see here, there's just a couple of clips. So I position that. And after you've owned them for a few years, they kind of come out of shape a wee bit. And you can see how much smoke's coming out there already. And that's nice. simply from that smoke box. We'll revisit this in about 40 minutes. Trying to tell my job is like, man. Huh? Yeah, no, I know. Well, yours is just a bit <laughs> weak. Here comes that's a great reveal. <laughs> What's our temp at? Oh, here we go. 1.30 yeah. or so. Right up. Ready to go? Yeah, yeah no, we're rolling. Oh, beautiful. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh. Look at those. Oh, baby. Yeah, look at that flute fish, mate. Where's that yellow thing? That looks really good. That big long one. It smells good too. I think this is, a, this is going to be a success, man. It looks really good. <laughs> Smoking is a, a great forgiver oh, no, of poor species. Ooh, oh, that looks good too. Oh, it looks like salmon, the one on the left. <laughs> the leather jacket. Yeah, that's that leather jacket. Jeez, they look really good. Right Hey? Presentation. <laughs> yeah, that's presentation right there. Look at that. Yeah. It's on a wooden chopping board. Yeah, wooden chopping <laughs> board dead. presentation. This is ceviche. Oh, look at that. Oh, fuck, wow. That looks pretty amazing. Yeah. Yep. And then did you straight it through something to yeah, get it so thin? Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah, nice. That, that looks amazing, mate. Wow. 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 wow, that looks great. Is everyone cool if I just use my hands? Yeah. yeah, I'm just going for it. I'm going to break some of this this off. Oh, here, Rod, I, I, better, I want to shoot you. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. This Rod. So it is. it does look like there could be some bones in it. That one looks pretty fine. I've got to eat that. You Don't worry about it. Flute fish. Well, the smoker taste, makes it taste delicious, but... No, it's nice. No. So you're gonna do it? I would never. I would, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's a pretty nice looking fish, you know. But, but yeah, no. Depending on how desperate we get, I reckon no. Flute fish is on the menu for sure. Right, now cool. that I've seen that he ate that other fish, I don't feel so sorry for him. He's a predator. He's yeah. It's fair game. Fair game. He's had a little wing. Tusky wing. Far out. Tusky wing. This is yeah. Oh, mate. It's no flute fish, but <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that was amazing. Was Love it. Really good. Yeah. Let's dig in. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> like she was like screaming at him, and then he put out a bit of food. And she's like, oh, hang on, you're all right. <laughs> Come on. There we go. This curlew has been putting up with us for the last couple of days. And he or she, may possibly he, we don't know who uh, sits on the eggs, but there's two little eggs under there as well, so it's doing the hard work. So I think my light's freaking her out, actually. Or her. Or him. We're very progressive. Yeah. Oh, good. Who's jumping on the gold flyer? Uh, Just Bree and, Bri and right? me, yeah. All right, and Julian and other brother there down the tone, you down at the uh, sea link, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Here and that's on? me. And then that pen bag actually, that blue one. Sorry. Thanks, man. Legend. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah well, legend. Awesome, no, right. thank you for an awesome, awesome course. Awesome. I learned, I learned and I had a good time. Yeah, good happy. bunch of people. Sorry. We'll get another trip in. You yeah. Talk? yeah, mate. Any off they go. Another ferry drop off. Well, we've been dropped off back at the uh, 
the wharf where the ferry will come and pick us up. But that was pretty awesome, actually. I got a lot out of that course in the end. Like, not my best spearfishing uh, days, that's for sure. And, you know, Viz wasn't perfect, but there was more going on than just Viz. It was uh, so good to get, like, consistent dives in at that depth and being super confident when people are around to sort of help me out and give you tips the whole way. I, I learned so much, so... I can see myself doing, you know, comfortably deeper drops and trying a bit more, but I'm obviously also being aware of more of the safety, safety aspect of as well. So yeah, nah, very, very cool. And uh, and good just to hang out with a bunch of cool dudes that I've sort of uh, liked. And ever since doing the podcast with um, Isaac, nah, we've, you know, we've talked a fair bit here and there and yeah, he's a good dude. So yeah, it was really cool to, for, uh, to sort of jump in and just hang out for a couple of days. I can definitely see like, there's definite, definite value in that course for me, even though I had sort of, oh, I don't know if I call it experience, but hobby, hobbyist experience. But um, yeah, so if anyone was interested, I'll put the details actually in the description and maybe pin a comment. Because um, yeah, if you're in the area and you want to, you know, lift your spearfishing game and um, you can be probably, even though this is the beginner's course, I reckon you could probably be beginner to intermediate before you'd start to tap out and realize it was, maybe you'd be looking at a higher course. But like all the instructors are actually, you know, fairly advanced. So you're going to pick stuff up and um, it's it's really good. It's worth doing. So yeah, no, nah, definitely was very cool. But anyway, yeah, I guess uh, we'll see you on the next one. And yeah, I'm not sure what we'll do. I think I'm probably going to try and squeeze in a live stream as well, maybe tomorrow or something like that. But anyway, I'll see you on the next one. And I pull his mask off, slip it in my arm like you're sort of saying. I'm blowing across his face with my fantastic morning breath. Breathe Tom, breathe. Breathe Tom, breathe. And then start mouth to mouth. <laughs>